Hi, Kitty Cats. I published a video last week about how myth teaches us about humanity. B. Miller, 7419, asked for more stories about how the LGBTQ community has been portrayed in myth across human history. Now, I love this idea because storytelling runs very closely to a major theme of my work about identity, which is introspection. If we want to know ourselves, we must learn to look within and find that person without the interference of social expectations. Unless and until we learn the skill of introspection, we cannot make progress in manifesting who we are in our lives. And one of the most powerful tools for discovering what matters to us is hearing stories about other people, what mattered to them, and what they did to achieve what mattered. For instance, I named this video Grandma's Favorite Myth, How Jesus Loves the LGBTQ Community. Those nine words can tell you a lot about who you are. Everybody has a grandmother. Maybe you knew her, maybe you didn't, maybe you loved her, maybe you hated her, but you're already part of this story because you probably wonder about the myths that formed her society. You know, back in the, the olden days. And maybe you've heard the story about Jesus, and maybe you know a member of the LGBTQ community. Putting them together, if Jesus loves the LGBTQ community, what does that mean to you? And furthermore, why would somebody's grandmother love this story? Does that change your perception of your own grandmother? That was a nine-word story, and likely you have pages of interesting questions to answer about yourself, your social environment, and your struggle to live within your social environment. We get taught today that stories are make-believe and offer little value outside of recreation. Worse, we learn that myths are stories from a rustic time long past about people and events that could never happen with gods and fairies and magic. But impugning myths is the viewpoint of an educational system steeped in the prejudice of an allegedly rational world. How do we find those truths science has yet to uncover? How do we find the truth about ourselves and our identities? The answer is make-believe. We dream, we tell stories, we live myths, and then we test how we feel against what we observe in the world. Talk soon. Bye.